As a fleet professional, it's your job to educate the sourcing department internally, which, in turn, will help you understand and embrace what sourcing can do to make your job easier. The session that I performed at, at Napa INE on Tuesday was really about sourcing and, and the prevalence of sourcing now in the fleet world. Uh, we've, been, we've seen it coming. It's, it's been here for several years now. Um, we reported that more than 75% of all customers, all fleets in the country now report into sourcing in some way. Uh, more than 90% of RFPs conducted are being conducted by sourcing. And so the message is that this is, this is here. This is something that, as a fleet professional, you should understand. You need to embrace this. Um, there, there's a lot of feeling out there that sourcing is the bad guy. Sourcing is here to take away my control, um, to, to stop letting me do the things that I know, and they don't know uh, the right way to, to do those things. And so the message really was, as a fleet professional, it's your job to educate your sourcing department internally within your organization. Because if you don't, they're going to potentially do that bid, that RFP, the wrong way. Um, you want to make sure they know what's important. You want to make sure you're not losing service, you're not losing capability just to save costs, as an example. So it's incumbent upon you to educate that group, to, to be part of the process, to embrace them. And then, of course, it's incumbent upon them to help you get the best deal. At the end of the day, you have the same goals. You're trying to accomplish the same things. And, and to fight that battle is, is not a good idea. You want to embrace it. You want to be part of it. You want to help improve your company, improve your fleet. And sourcing can help you do that.